Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these simple farmhouse clay ornaments. They are so easy to make and I love how they turned out. So if you want to see how I made them, then continue watching. For these ornaments, I'm going to be using white Sculpey clay. I'm going to be using a rolling pin and a circle cookie cutter. I'm going to be using these small letters and they are all lowercase and I picked these up from Michaels. I'm also going to be using some ribbon and a toothpick. I'm also going to be using some black acrylic paint with a fine tipped paintbrush. You can use a Sharpie marker if you want if it has a fine tip. I do not recommend the fat tips like this though. I'm going to take my Sculpey clay now and I'm going to go ahead and knead it and I'm going to work it until it becomes soft and smooth and basically pliable to where I can roll it out. This step might seem like it takes forever but you really want your um, clay to be nice and soft and smooth. Now that my clay is ready to go, I have a piece of wax paper down here on the table. As you can see here, the clay stuck to the table. So this wax paper is going to make it to where I can transfer my ornaments onto my uh, baking sheet without it sticking to the table. Now I am rolling out my clay and I am going to roll this out till it is about a quarter inch thick, maybe just a little bit smaller than that. Um, but I don't want it to be too thick. So now I'm going to take my circle cookie cutter and go ahead and cut out some circles. And I am placing them down to where I will get as many circles as I can out of this um, batch here. Now I'm going to take my rubber stamps and I'm just going to stamp in my wording that I want on my ornaments. And for this one I am stamping Mary. Now I'm going to take a toothpick and I'm going to make a hole at the top of each of my ornaments. And this is going to be the hole where my ribbon goes through. So I am making the hole big enough to where a ribbon will stick through, but not too big of a hole. Now that I have those letters on my ornament, I am going to go ahead and transfer those onto my baking sheet. I do have some tin foil covering my baking sheet. Um, this is just to protect my pan. And I will be putting these in the oven for 275 degrees Fahrenheit. That is 130 degrees Celsius. And I'm going to bake it for 15 minutes per one quarter inch, which is six millimeters. Before I do, I am going to go ahead and place a little tin foil tint over my ornaments. Um, I am not touching the ornaments with it, but it, it has um, like a little lip around it. That way air can flow. And this is just so my ornaments don't burn in the oven. Now that my ornament has baked and cooled off, I am taking my black acrylic paint and painting in my lettering with a fine tipped paint brush. Um, you can use a fine tipped Sharpie marker if you would like. The final step is adding some ribbon that way it can hang from the tree. And I just have this red and white um, ribbon from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to go ahead and just stick it through the hole that I pierced through with my toothpick. And then tie it off with a knot. So here are the finished ornaments. I love how they turned out. They're simple, yet they are still adorable. And if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and go ahead and share this video with those that you think might like this DIY. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.